Hi, I'm Dave Lapham, and I have had the privilege to write or help write a fantastic memoir for a good friend of mine who grew up during the Second World War. Let me read you this. Born into an aristocratic Catholic Astro-Hungarian family, Maria Clark lived a privileged, if isolated, childhood. But her fairy tale life disintegrated just before Christmas 1939, when she was kidnapped by the Nazis. Maria came to know all the horrors of war and its aftermath, forced labor, starvation, beatings, and more. This is an account of the heroism and fortitude of one young woman who lived through the indescribable atrocities of the most savage war in history. It is a gut-wrenching, heartbreaking, bittersweet story of survival. Let me tell you what, about one little incident that's contained in the book. At one point, Maria, who by the time this incident occurs, had a child, a baby. She had escaped the Russians who were pouring in on the Eastern Front and was in a town called Eldena. When she got there in the evening, the Americans were there and she thought she was safe. But in the morning she woke up, the Americans had pulled across the river and the Russians were now in charge of her, the side, her side of the river. During the night, the Americans had pulled back across the Elda River, which runs through the center of Eldena, that's the name of the town, and the Russian army had moved in. These troops were Mongolians with Russian officers, and they were beasts, no different from the hordes of Genghis Khan, no different from their barbarian ancestors in the Middle Ages. They came from a culture so foreign to the rest of the world. They had no sense of personal hygiene, no morals, no compassion, no human decency, whatever. And on top of that, Stalin had given them leave to do anything they wanted. I rose up on my elbows and tried to slide backwards, pulling Roland with me. But the soldiers kicked me viciously to the, in the side, and I screamed in pain. One soldier and the others roared with laughter. Then he began unbuttoning his fly and pulling down his pants. I kicked up between my legs as hard as I could with little effect, and he dropped to his knees and smashed me in the face with his fist. I guess I was momentarily knocked out because when I came to, he had pulled off the blanket, raised my dress, and ripped off my, fi my filthy panties, and he was inside me, slamming brutally against my groin. He finished quickly and stood up, slapping me hard for good measure. Then the next one took me, and the next. They were standing in line. They twisted my arms and legs, hit me and kicked me, all the time laughing. It was great fun for these monsters. I was so traumatized and the pain was so overpowering that I could not move. I was in shock. When they had all finished, they all stood around laughing and urinating on my face. This is just one incident of the horrendous life that this woman lived for several months after the Second World War. If you're all interested in the Holocaust, or in the, if you want to see what it was really like, this is a great book to read. It's going to be on. It's online on Amazon ebook at, at 4.29. I I recommend highly that you read it. Thank you.